Hey, let's keep using the move tool. And this time I want to show you how to use the move tool to raise the roof on a form. You can make it look like an angled house, like an A-frame house, or even a pitched roof going up higher on one side than the other. This is how you do that. I showed you in the last tutorial how to misshape a form like a cylinder into a cone and also how to move that form around the environment. Well, now let's apply that same thing to simply moving a line into different positions. And if that line is on top of a box, for instance, we can then raise that line up in the air and create like an A-frame roof, okay? This is how we do it. Go to a box form that you have in this environment, like this one that we did in a previous tutorial, the rotated rectangle on that box to look like doors. Go to that box and on the top of that box with the line tool, not the freehand line, the straight line tool, go ahead and draw a line across the top of that box from a midpoint, left click and let go, come across to the opposite midpoint and left click and let go. And you've just drawn a line on top of that box. Now, get down low because SketchUp um, needs to know where you are in the environment to perform some sort of function that you want it to do. Take the Move tool, and if you're low, it will know that you want to probably go up and down on the y-axis. If you're high, it thinks you want to go side to side on the x-axis. Go to the midpoint of that line that you just drew, left click, hold it, and look for on blue axis. And I'm going to also orbit around while I'm holding this so you can see it from the side. On blue axis means you're going up in the air. Now, in the same way that you can control any number of things about a function, your function right now is to move this line in the air. Let's define how high we want that to be. Right here it says right now two feet, three and five sixteenths inches. Why don't you call it like five feet? It knows you want to go that way. Now tell it exactly how far. Five apostrophe, that's five feet, enter, boom. And now you have just moved that line up in the air from its starting point here on the top of the box, five feet. Cool. And that's how you can raise the roof on a house. Well, that's one way. You could also, since you move that line, take this line with the move tool and move it up in the air. If you wanted some irregular shaped house, like flat over here, coming down there, or a little higher here than it is there, all you're doing is moving lines, okay? So you can make really any shape you want. In fact, if you grab an end point, this could distort the entire house. If I grab this corner and moved it out here, I wonder if the whole thing would get distorted. Let's see. So it's kind of like origami, folding paper. This entire environment becomes elastic. And so I just grabbed the corner of that house and moved it into this irregular shape, like grabbing a milk carton and just stretching it out as if it's made of putty with the move tool, grabbing different points. And you see all these lines that show up. It's because SketchUp's trying to figure out the geometry of how to make that happen. It's cool. So I'm going to control Z that and put that back just so that you understand that you drew a line to divide a shape, that basic rectangle. And then you grabbed that shape and moved it up in the air. And that's how you raise a roof. Ta -da. Well, what happens when you actually do that to a curved surface? You don't even have to draw the line on this curved surface. You can just look for the fact that it's made up of a lot of individual changes of direction. You see that? It's not actually a curve. It's a flat plane going this way, a flat rectangle, and then it changes direction and goes down here a little bit, over to there, and then changes direction. So because that's how it makes these curves, on something like this arced bridge that we made, if you grab the move tool and you come over here, You can see these little dotted lines. If you grab that and lift it up, it will lift that line up in the air. And it'll show you where your next available dotted line is. And you can lift that out in the air. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this on different forms. Tune into the next one, part three, and I'll show you different ways to use the move tool as well. Ciao.